What's up everybody? I am Karen Michelle and today I'm back with another tutorial. So I don't do my eyebrows on camera um, so I will be uploading another video that will show you exactly how I do my brows. But today I'm just going to jump right into my face. So first I start off with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. And I just put all this on my face. I use about four drops of it. If you have oily skin, I would use like one or two drops because you don't want it to be too oily. Now I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the color Y505. And I'm just going to put this all under my eyes, all over my face, but I start off with under my eye because I have very dark eyes, so I just put it all under my eyes first. And I just realized that I didn't do my eyeshadow first, because I usually do my eyeshadow first and then my foundation, just because I feel like that's the easier way to go, especially if you're a beginner at doing makeup. you get under your jawline as well because you don't want it to be uneven so just make sure when you're doing your foundation you're getting under your jaw So now that I have all my foundations ready evenly, I'm going in with the Warrior by Juvia's Place Palette. And I slowed this down because I didn't point to all the colors. So I'm using that dark color I'm pointing to now, this brown color, and I'm using the gold next to the dark color I'm pointing to, I'm using the top gold. So first, I'm gonna start off with the darker color. Then I'm just gonna put that all over my eyelid and a little above my crease as well. I'm going with that brown color that I was pointing to, the second color, um, and just blend that out above the black and darker color. So I'm just blending that out now. And in all of my YouTube videos and all of my tutorials, you're going to see that I only use one palette. I feel like that's just going to be a lot easier for everybody, um, especially if you're a beginner at doing makeup one palette and having a look with that one palette will be so much easier than having to buy three palettes for one look so a lot of my videos will most likely be with one palette so now i'm going in with my peas louise rumor zero base this is my favorite base this is the perfect base like i won't use any other base so i go in with that just to draw my crease and that is the most important part to me when doing eyeshadow because the crease is what makes everything pop so i'm getting it all on my brush and again everybody eye shape is different so everybody cut crease won't look the same but you just follow the shape of your eye to create the perfect crease 
and I also look up because if you look up the makeup will go it will go higher I'm trying to find a better way to explain it so if you look up it'll the makeup will get on your crease more but higher so you'll know where to draw your crease I'm sorry if I didn't explain that right that gold color that I was pointing with next to the black and I'm just going to spread that all over my eyelid. I'm not going to lie, I did not think that this look was going to come out good because I really didn't even know what colors I should have used but the gold actually turned out pretty good and it's very pigmented so I definitely recommend it. done with my eyeshadow I'm going back in with we're well not going back in but I'm using my LA Pro concealer in the color fawn and I'm sure you all have heard good reviews about this concealer because this is li literally my favorite concealer and it's cheap so and it's good quality so I also use the concealer to contour my nose and as you see the line just went completely lift so um but the, the good thing about makeup is you can always fix it so i'm going back in now and i'm just going to straighten the line up with the concealer basically just put the concealer where it's supposed to be so yeah when i do my concealer i make sure i get under my eyes on my forehead contour my nose above my lips and below my lips on my chin with my beauty blender which I did run under warm water and squeeze it out first because of course that makes your beauty blender better to use and I'm going to blend out all of my concealers slow taps not a lot of drags just tapping it to blend it because you want it to look smooth and look like your skin so
So now I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the color Espresso. And I'm using this to contour. So I just put a couple lines on each side. Um, and yeah, I blend it out. And this is my favorite contour stick. And it lasts so long. It lasts for a long time. So as you see, I'm moving my brush in circular motion. So you want to move in a circular motion so it don't look like it's just a straight line. Now I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty um, powder, setting powder in the color Honey. I got this for my birthday and I fell in love. Because I usually use Laura, Laura Mercier um, powder, which that's very good too. But I love the honey because I just feel like it blends in more of my skin tone. So yeah, even though... I didn't put any concealer under the contour. I'm still going to put powder, the setting powder under my contour. Just so my whole face look blended. So now I'm going in with my Studio Pro from BH Cosmetics palette. It's a contour palette. And I'm just going to use this to set the Anastasia Beverly Hills Espresso Foundation that I put for my contour. And now I'm using some cheap mascara bought from the dollar store. So any makeup that may have fell on my real lashes before I put my fake lashes on don't show. And then the lashes I got were $3.99. Um, they're Envy lashes as I just showed you and they still look good even though they're cheap. You don't have to spend a lot of makeup to look good. A lot of money to look good. So I'm going back in with the black and the brown color I showed earlier in this video and I'm putting it under my eyes. I'm doing the black first and then I'm going under with the brown. I don't put the gold at the bottom. Now I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Setting Spray. And I'm just going to do like four sprays over my face to set my makeup. My favorite part. It feels so good. And I'm now I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Blush Powder. And I'm using that to brush the top of my cheekbones. And this is an expensive eye cream. Like this is cheap as well. But it works very good. Now I'm going in with my Sleek Makeup Palette, but it's a highlighting palette. Um, I got it from Ulta Beauty, but I'm not sure what brand it's under. But I am using this to highlight my nose, my cheekbones, and under my eyebrows. And above, on my cupid's bow, above my lips. And everything will be in the description box as well. So if there's anything that I may have forgot or I didn't really have the name to, I'll have it all in the description box so you'll know.
So now that I'm done with my highlight, I'm going in with my lip liner. I honestly forgot where I got this from too. Um, but it's Lipstick Queen Rich Cocoa Lip Liner. And this works so perfect. Like it comes on so easy. But I'm not going to lie, it is $20. But it's been lasting me a long time and I really like it. Because some liners is hard to put on. This slides on easily. my CoverGirl lipstick no it's L'Oreal Bittersweet 854 liquid lipstick and then on top of that I'm going to put my NYX lip lingerie in the color 21 on top of that it smells just like chocolate so it smells so good and I'm putting that on top of my lips and I'm just blending that in with the lip liner and basically that's it so that's how I created this look I was a little discouraged about it at first but I actually ended up liking it so this is how I created this look guys I hope you all enjoyed my video and can't wait to see you again love you bye